This is the video for Unit 2, Blended Algebra 2, um, Composition of Functions, Day 2, Practice. So in this video, I'm looking at problem 1A, 3, and number 4. If you need help on any other problems other than these three, you can check the key that's posted on Canvas or come and see your teacher for some help. So let's start with number 1A. You are given two functions. You're given f of x and you are given g of x. They're asking you to compose the two functions to find f of g of x. Now remember, when you do this, you start with the function that is on the right, and you're going to take that function on the right and put it into the function on the left. That means here, the function of g is on the right. You're going to take that 5x plus 4 and put it in 4x for the function of f. So remember, we said to do this, we write the function of f just as it is. Instead of x, we put some parentheses, but we have 3, a blank, minus 2. In that blank, where the parentheses are, is where you put your function of g of x. So all you have to do from here is simplify the expression by distributing the 3 to give you 15x plus 12 minus 2, and then combining like terms. This simplifies to 15x plus 10. And that is your final answer. That is the new equation you get from f and g um, called f of g of x. Number 3 here. We're going to do the same thing. We have two functions, and we're finding this time g of f of x. So in this one, we're taking the letter on the right f and putting it into the function <coughs> of g. So f here is going in for g. So let's write what we have for g first. And we put our parentheses for x, minus 9 over 2. Now in place of x, you're going to put that function of f. 2x plus 9. Alright, so now I have 2x plus 9 minus 9 over 2. So when I simplify this, notice that positive 9 and negative 9, they cancel out because they equal 0. So you have 2x over 2, and 2x over 2 simplifies to just be equal to x. So that's your final answer here for number 3. Last one, this is the most challenging on the practice. You are trying to find, given f and g, the composition f of g of x. So here g is going into the left function of f. Right? So g goes in for x in f. So let's set up what we have. This is a multiple choice problem. I have my blank for x squared plus 5. That's what I start with. Now the g goes in here for x. Now remember, on our notes, we said this one's a little bit challenging because when I have a quantity squared like this, you need to start by writing out the expression as x plus 4 times x plus 4. That's what it means to be squared. Multiply by itself. Well, to simplify this, you now need to use the distributive property and you can, or call FOIL if that helps you. So we do x times x is x squared x times 4 is plus 4x. Four have 4 times x here is plus 4x. And 4 times 4 is 16. And then you have that plus 5 on the end that comes down from up above. All you have to do now is combine your like terms. The x's go together and the constants go together. So the equation f of g of x is equal to x squared plus 8x plus 21. And that looks like option C in the multiple choice. All right, so that is um, your practice here, practice one. There are two more practice worksheets uh, posted on Canvas. There are videos for those as well. So if you are not confident with uh, composition of functions yet, you need to start working on those two practices or ask your teacher for some help.